Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This video is from chapter 7, Induction Motor, and here we'll briefly discuss the concept and also what is rotor frequency. And finally, we'll be solving M chapter problem 7.2. So, uh, we, we know what is synchronous speed, we have already learned earlier, but let me just repeat. Uh, if you see this diagram, this is the stator and the uh, when we give three phase supply to the stator that it produces a rotating magnetic field in it. So this, the speed of this rotating magnetic field is called synchronous speed or n synchronous. The rotor will also follow the synchronous speed or the stator uh, magnetic field and the speed of the rotor will be called nm rotor speed this is n sync uh, synchronous speed and the rotor speed or the motor speed is nm or the mechanical speed now because this is an induction motor the rotor will not follow exactly at the same speed as the uh, uh, stator magnetic field this will lag and that lag is called slip okay so we uh, for example if the magnetic field speed is 3000 revolutions per minute and the rotor uh, speed is 2850 then from here we can find the slip speed the speed at which it is slipping behind and that is n sync minus m motor or the rotor and subtract uh, putting the two values the slip speed is 150 revolutions per minute now the slip speed and slip are two different terms you have to keep in mind the slip is the percentage slip or slip percentage is calculated in terms of percentage and that is slip speed divided by the synchronous speed 100% uh, multiplied by 100% so in this case the slip speed is 150 and the synchronous speed is 300 and therefore slip can be calculated to be 5%. Okay, so this was uh, about the slip speed and slip and now uh, there is a new term uh, which is called the rotor frequency. Now try to understand this, uh, we'll first of all compare it with the transformer we know that the induction motor follows the transformer principle in the transformer we know we have a primary and a secondary induction motor we have a stator and we have a rotor and they are magnetically coupled now in case of a transformer the frequency on the primary side is same as the frequency on the secondary side but in case of a uh, induction motor, it may not be the same, not necessarily equal. Stator frequency and the rotor frequency. Now we'll see a couple of uh, situations. First of all, we are assuming that the magnetic field uh, is rotating, but the rotor is not rotating, its uh, speed is zero. In that case, what will happen? Uh, what will be the frequency of the rotor at nm is equal to zero the rotor frequency fr will be same as the stator frequency so as if the stator is applying its full power to the rotor just from this diagram if you can keep in mind that the sink or the stator is uh, applying its full power so the frequency will be same the other extreme will be that the rotor is rotating at the same speed as the magnetic field and so there is no need of any power applied or any frequency applied and therefore in this case the frequency or the rotor frequency will be zero hertz. But we are primarily concerned uh, at the situation in between the two at any speed we can say that the rotor frequency is sync frequency minus the uh, sorry sync speed minus the rotor speed divided by sync speed and multiplied by fe is the uh, uh, frequency of the stator or the supply frequency it can also be written as fr is s 
that is slip into supply frequency. Now this term is actually equal to slip. Okay, and from here we know that any speed uh, is given by 120 Fe over P. So from if we put this uh, in this formula, then we can have another formula for the frequency, uh, rotor frequency, that is P divided by 120 and sink minus Nm. So we'll be using this in this uh, in the next problem solving. So keep this part in mind. Okay, now let's see uh, and chapter problem 7.2, a 220 volt three phase two pole 50 hertz induction motor is running at a slip of 5%. And we have to find these four parameters, we'll see them one by one. So we, we again carry this diagram with us. This is the stator field, stator field rotating, rotor and the a rotor rotation. The first part of the uh, part A of the question is the speed of the magnetic field in revolutions per minute. That means the speed of this magnetic field. And we know the speed uh, has a very simple formula. So the speed of the magnetic field is also known as the synchronous speed. And for this, the formula uh, we know the, for any speed actually. And sync is 120 multiplied by the frequency divided by number of poles. So frequency here is 50 hertz, two poles. So the sync speed is uh, 3000 revolutions per minute. Okay, part B is the speed of the motor in, uh, sorry, speed of the rotor in revolutions per minute. So rotor speed. And the rotor speed is given by this formula, which is actually derived from this formula. From the we know that the slip was n sink minus n uh, motor or rotor divided by n sink. And from here, if you multiply this by s and manipulate, then you get this formula. The, so the speed of the rotor calculated. Sink is uh, a slip is given in the question which is 5%, so putting in the value 5% here and the sink speed we had calculated. So this is the speed of the rotor, 2850 revolutions per minute. Part C of the question, the slip speed of the rotor. Now the rotor slip speed is actually the speed at which the rotor is slipping behind. And so the slip speed can be found to be n slip is n sink minus n motor or rotor. And so subtracting, uh, it is 150 revolutions per minute. So this is the uh, slip speed of the rotor. And finally, the rotor frequency in hertz, and we have just learned what is rotor frequency. So we'll apply that formula that F rotor is P divided by 120 and n sync minus n m and putting in the values uh, rotor frequency is 2.5 hertz. So I hope uh, this gives you an understanding how you can solve this type of a problem. Thank you.